Yeah, this is On the Couch at Music City SF. I'm your DJ, Stefan Aronson. We're here with Flowers on the Fence. Yeah, let's get this started. Yeah. How's the uh, ambiance? Loving it. More fog, though. I know, seriously. Yes. More fog. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Fog us out. (laughs) Uh, Fire Marshal, there is a smoke detector in here. Don't worry. We got got that covered. Um, Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Flowers on the fence. Uh, Give a little uh, story backline, like who you are, who's not here, how the band changes, if members change, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, Flowers on the Fence started about I think two about two years ago. I had just been writing some songs and kind of messing around with one of my roommates. He was playing some drums and then um, had like three, four songs. And my brother Kyle who plays drums and just plays a ton of music. He um, I was just like, I want to record an EP. So I worked a bunch and saved money and then I quit my job and then recorded an EP. And my brother joins me pretty much when we record and he writes drums and we kind of go back and forth with bass and lead guitar and stuff like that. And other than my brother, which is like the next consistent, me and then him, um, we kind of just find friends. We have tons of friends that play and so we just try to make a band out of it, but I feel like um, I feel like um, your brother Kyle, yes, um, sort of uh, started a few years before you, which allowed uh, like kind of a <laughs> which allowed sort of a path to be like kind of plowed that like you could you could test out that like trail he's already started and see like if if there's a similar audience to his band before the brave or um maybe yeah. tap into the branches uh audience and totally has, have you noticed that like with the people coming to your shows that there's a, a yeah connection? we yeah like just knowing those guys and gals in before the brave and in branches um it really is like kind of like this like weird like music family we have mm. throughout you know different like friendships and stuff like that um yeah my brother and before the brave stuff like that so it definitely has opened up a lot of yeah made it easier and, and kind of like made me more knowledgeable and honestly i like asked him a ton of questions i'm like hey like how do you do this like i've never mm-hmm. you know i don't i don't know how to do this part of being in a band branches um before the brave, maybe even flowers on the fence, <sighs> has some influence from from uh, like Christianity, but totally. aren't trying to make Christian songs per se. Like, yeah. how does that affect your writing style? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it, it influences it for sure. And it, yeah, I wouldn't say like I'm a Christian band or flowers on the fence is a Christian band. And but I I, I talk on things that I think were like yeah god is in the picture and i've never wanted to like make any claims of this is the it's more so like i'm just like i don't like this is I, a lot of it i guess the mute my music is um yeah like i don't really know like no. questions or yeah like frustrations like it's like me dealing with it it's not like i know i don't know i guess it, it's hard to, i can all I haven't processed it, I guess, enough. But so in one year, I'll ask the question again, and maybe you'll have a better answer. Yeah, maybe in like yeah, yeah in like maybe five minutes, like we'll five minutes, and I like in five it. minutes. Just need after the bottles stop uh, clinking yeah, and uh, recycling as yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These Fog are gonna make out. for such good edits. Like, do you f- like feel the support of your fans? Like, is it noticeable, or are you still struggling to find a uh, fan base? That's still a struggle like finding the fan base and finding it for like flowers on the fence where i think sometimes which is like such a it's a great thing and but it also probably makes me insecure sometimes it's like playing shows with you know like bands that like we're talking about or like friends bands stuff it's like so fun to play with your friends and a lot of the same people come out which is rad that like you know and then but then sometimes like that's great and that's such a cool thing like that community to have but at the same time i think someone's like oh like 
I wonder if they're coming out because they like the music or they're like supporting me, which is both. Those are both like great things, and I'm very thankful for both. Um, but it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I they know, they still. they like you. Don't yeah. worry. Don't worry. The, I guess the reason I asked that question is I had a radio show for three years, and had lots of bands come on the show, and your show is still the only show that had people out the door, like mm -hmm. that had like a full radio studio of audience. So. Yeah. And that seemed huge to me. I mean, like I do have tons of support from like friends and that is r really rad. I guess I think, and I'm sure like I believe them when they say they like the music or whatever it is. Um, do you give them a polygraph? Like, do you say like, do you actually, <laughs> actually like my music? Do you actually, Here. Yeah. Let me, let me like see check hand. all the yeah. things. Like are they, are they sweating? Are they yeah. like, do their voice get high? What or, like, specifically do you away? like about it? Which verse is What's your, favorite your favorite one? What's your favorite song? Yeah. Stuff and, like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. Which, what minute is your favorite like point yeah. on that song that you like? Yeah. Totally. Sing it to me now. Yeah. I have, I've actually, I think I've actually have asked that. Maybe just okay. like, oh, like what's your favorite song? I think you did that to me once actually. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What'd you say? Yeah, like I have. Oh, I have. I like it all. I like it. <laughs> oh, I like it all. Your EP is amazing. Uh, every last song is good. Yeah, you're so that, good. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, good. I'll sing it all to you. That's pretty sadder. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm. S yeah. Yeah, it's it's good. So much fog. If I were to analyze you, mm -hmm. I feel like you'd be the type to 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 listen to albums and like sit down and like purposely listen. Am I wrong or right? No, that's actually. I was just talking to a friend about like I'm totally an album person. Like so I true like, then. Yeah. Okay, for I had sure. a feeling. Like I like there'll be like certain songs I like, but I like I love like if I just like love an entire album, that's like my favorite thing. An album that you could think of that when you were trying to write music that you were listening to that full album, and then now that you have music out that you're listening to this full album. Well, Absent Sounds by From Indian Lakes, Reverie Lagoon by Sea Haven. I had the blues, but I shook them loose by Bomb by a Bicycle Club. I definitely am more intentional, I think, when I'm in kind of like a season of writing to like listen to like these certain albums that like really get me kind of like inspired or like in a place of like a headspace of writing. So like now, so we'll see what Corey Tease is well, listening to on Spotify. <laughs> now like having written the songs where i'm not really looking for inspiration i definitely got into drake which surprised me yeah because i never thought i would like drake i know when the hot light blinks yeah yeah i was listening page of the lion i love mm -hmm. page of the lion that made me think <laughs> i got some the new explosions in the sky album the strokes the strokes for sure fergalicious is on here Fergalicious. So that Joyce Manor. Wait, Fergalicious is in like Fergalicious, so delicious, make them boys go loco. Yeah, like, yeah. Like mid two thousands Fergalicious. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, so now I think it's the appropriate time to switch to the more personal part, the selfie, the selfie cam. Selfie cam is my favorite part. It's when we take the camera off the stand oh, and shit. bring it over to you, and all of a sudden you can't be as chill because you're holding a camera and it's all up in your Whoa. face. Yeah, Alrighty. it's a little intense. Let's do it. Selfie cam time. Oh, how yeah. look? It's a little okay. close and personal. What's your biggest insecurity in music? People thinking that it's like very underdeveloped or like just like, oh, it's just like sad like music that I listened to in high school or like this or that. So then what's your biggest goal in music? I would honestly just love to where I could write music and then go into the studio with my brother and like make an an album and then like go and tour and then just like come home and do that again and again nice what uh what is your dream venue to play in san francisco oh 100 percent slims because nice. i grew up seeing all my favorite bands there so it's just like yeah i like dream about playing Slims. um what is your favorite venue that you've already played brick and mortar just played that just like the sound and I, they had they did lights and mm -hmm. I just love lights. I love it. Like, you know, like, do you have a different persona for in person versus on stage? Cause I feel like your in person persona is very chill, relaxed, thought out, but then you're on stage and you're like, got some songs, got to do, do, do. When I play music, I think I get to a place where I like, don't feel like I have to be anything. You know, that sounds like really like vague and stuff, but I just kind of like get 
there's no expectations of me. So yeah. I kind of create it myself. Yes. And then I go and I have to like, whatever, it's time to like talk to the crowd. And I'm just like, um, thanks. Like, I don't know what to say. I just, I, that's where I like, I'm really bad at it. Yeah. <laughs> what is your, uh, what one year plan with flowers on the fence? Doing some touring. Like I actually have thought about doing like living room mm. stuff. Maybe this summer. Whose living room would um, you start in? Yours. Yeah. that seems like a good idea. Yours. And then Peter, Peter's. you come in. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Peter's. I'm there. actually, I'm yeah. going to, Peter, you have to come around and just do fog for the entire show. Fog man. I like that. Fog yeah. man. Just, I want to play a ton of shows. Have you reached out to so far? Um, yeah. So far sounds. No. Should they specialize in living room shows? What's uh what's your five year goal? Man, I don't know. Europe? Oh man. I think that's so big. I mean I would love that's to That's five years from now. Five years, yeah. Man, hopefully Europe. Europe um Slims. Slims, yeah. That's a dream. Uh, I don't know. I'm like fixated on that. Graduate. Graduate. Oh yeah, that's five years. That's like three weeks. Uh pretty girl in the band. Yeah, I'm down. We actually have um on the new album, there's two songs with female vocals. Oh. Yeah. So it wouldn't be so bro on the stage. Literally. Yeah. With my brother. <laughs> Literally. So bro Yeah. I mean, Slims. Europe. Europe. Slims is technically your six-month plan. I gave that one to That'd you. Be, I mean, I'm down. I'm down to down. try. Okay. That's, yeah. I don't know why that's like, I, it's just because I've like seen so many shows there. Like yeah. all of my favorite bands. And they're just like the most magical shows. <laughs> Peter on the fog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, last words. Yeah, new music, videos coming out, um, shows. If you have a living room. Mm -hmm. Shout out to people with living rooms. Yeah, if you have a living room. Make it happen. Shout out to uh, management at Flowers Slims. on the Fence. Make it happen. At gmail.com. What are your other social handles? Uh, Instagram is flowers on the fence. Facebook is just flowers on the fence. I don't have I, just, I don't have a Twitter. I don't really use Twitter okay. anymore. But I'm proud of you. My Snapchat is just Corey. I've well, been pretty stoked on I'm, that. I'm proud I of you though. It, that your your at symbols are the same. Thank you. Like they match. If I was looking for you, I would use yeah. your at symbol, and it's going to be flowers on the fence. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I ha like stoked on that. I'm just you're, you're of the digital era. Like, you know yeah. the importance of an ass symbol. Yeah. At Flowers on the Fence. Follow. Yeah. Follow it. Instagram. Nice. Follow it. Anyway, this has been uh, On the Couch at Music City SF. This is Corey. I'm Stefan. We out. Thanks. Bye, guys.